look at your 500-yard freestyle, the A final. Fastest swimmer here, as we said, Patrick Callen for Bishop Kelly. We already saw him earlier, and it looks like he's got a pretty good, uh, pretty good advantage over this field. You know, looking at the uh, the lineup here, that doesn't tell the story. The real story is that Patrick Callen from Bishop Kelly swam a 437.86 at regionals he came in here uh, which is which is below the state record uh, set the state record you have to swim to beat the state record at state so okay. uh, going to be looking uh, the 440 is sure in danger here this, uh, this afternoon he is in lane four Altus has two more swimmers in this event Carl Albert also with two swimmers in this event talk to his coach uh, Caught up with her a little uh, for a few minutes before uh, the session started this afternoon. Uh, just kind of wanted to conserve yesterday. Knew he could do it. Had it in his head. 24-29, uh, obviously well under the 28 split he needed to go. You know, like uh, distance freestylers like this like to get out there, get a good first 50 in there, and then kind of get settled in. Got a little in the reserve then as, as you build some fatigue and you know you can you can slow down a little and, and conserve and then come back and look for some negative splits uh, you know on the last uh, 50 and maybe even the last 100 51 54 uh, you know again right on pace there uh, well under pace actually uh, so he he got a good swim going so far as he works down through here Patrick Allen still setting the pace here. Coming back to the 200. Should, you know, we're probably want, going to want to see under a 152 here to show he's on pace. Four seconds under that, a 148.10. Really doing well. Alex Lawrence, lane five. Good young swimmer. We heard his name earlier. I think it was in the 200 free as well. Uh, wanted to, you know, set a personal best here. Had a, had a pretty good prelim swim. I'm sure he's hoping to go under five minutes this afternoon. 250. 216 49 for Patrick. Uh, you know, I hope, hope our viewers at home are watching this. This is uh, one of those swims you don't want to miss. Uh, well under record pace. Good young swimmer. Exciting to see what uh, what the future holds for him. Alex Lawrence uh, turning off the far wall, still in second. Out in lane six. Nate Carmen bringing up third. Patrick Callen touching in a 245.03, still about three seconds ahead of pace. Alex Lawrence in second, 253.12. Nate Carmen from Stillwater, three flat 98 in third with James Huggins from Fort Gibson's in the 304.63. Seems like we hardly get uh, through. We don't even get halfway through the field. And here's Patrick touching again, a 313.86. Still well under pace. Uh, this is going to put him on pace to swim his regional time. He's on about a 437. We'll see if he starts trying to negative split this thing here when he touches here uh, with 100 to go. But he's really got, uh, he's really grabbing some good water. Feet are working pretty well. Don't want to see him overdoing it at this point because, you know, there's still 100 left. But my guess is going to try to build a little here. 28-35 on that last 50. He's at a 342-21. Gave up a little there. Uh, looking to be on about a 344. Starting to put some laps on, uh, put a lap on some of the others in the heat. Alex Lawrence is turning on his... Uh, turn in here. Patrick taking the bell lap at a 410.92. About two seconds ahead of pace, so 
Uh, you know, he's looking probably to go here. He's going, going to go close to that 437, 438 that he went at regionals. Uh, Alex Lawrence touching here in 423-52. Here we go. Uh, Patrick coming in for the final touch. Really has his feet working, grabbing some good water, puts his head down, finishes strong. 438-23, new state record, uh, two and a half seconds. Great swim from a great young man. That's exciting to see. Uh, you know, swam a, a, a six tenths faster than his uh, regional time. Alex Lawrence coming in second here, 453-12. Great swim for Alex as well. Uh, Seven seconds under his entry time from yesterday. Going to bring in third is going to be Nate Carmen from Stillwater. Fourth, we've got uh, James Huggins from Fort Gibson. Lane seven will give us fifth place for Stephen Azano, Carl Albert. Brandon Lundmark from Altus in sixth. Brian Laux from Altus in seventh. We're going to have uh, Jacob Martin, Fort Gibson, uh, rounding out the field in eighth. That's a great swim, Steve. That was yeah, exciting. It really was. Fun to watch that swim. Uh, freshman, uh, great career ahead of him. If he keeps this up, you know, I'm thinking that 6A record's within his reach. <laughs>